This is Steve McBride with Millionaire Moves. We're talking about evictions, foreclosures, and all things related to that. Tax foreclosure, delinquent properties, the attitude of the people that lose the properties. And, and we were talking about East Austin in particular in our last SALT. SALT and um, how I was shocked that the area is no longer predominantly black. And I don't want this to turn into a racial discussion because this is about millionaire moves. And I saw how millionaire moves were made in East Austin. And in the 90s when I moved to Austin, I heard on the radio, black radio, if you will, Reverend Frank Garrett Jr. talking about that a lot. I was a young man, I had, no, I just listened to it because it was black people on the radio. And now I understand now that, that East Austin is no longer black owned. And this is not a show about race at this point, it's about millionaire moves. And if you don't make millionaire moves, then you're gonna get pushed out and you're gonna lose what you have, what your family has worked hard for. And I'm particularly, this can happen to any community, but I'm particularly talking about the black community. I've seen it. Land, homes get foreclosed on, a loss because of delinquency in the tax, or selling it for a little or nothing because you have no money, but they flash money in front of you then you have to take it. You take it because you had none. Or you take it because of the tax. You don't have the money for that. And we got to you know, like any businessman, I, I would see that opportunity to acquire it as well. But I'm saying what we got to do is try to keep these properties within our community is my point. We ought to be making the money off the property, off the asset. Now, I'm not saying you always got to hold on to an asset. You know, if you have land or, or a home and somebody offer you a quarter of a million dollars for it and you don't have no money, well, I wouldn't necessarily say hold on to it sell it. Just do right by the money. Right? You no, know, are you in a position where you can rent it out? And it's the cat renting, being a landlord and taking care of your property is the cash cow that keeps on giving. It's the golden duck that keeps laying the egg if you're able to acquire property and then rent it out. It lays the egg every month. Now you can sell that property and get a huge profit off of it and do right by that money. But I'm saying either way it's fine. It depends on your philosophy. But the main thing is to manage the money appropriately. Millionaire Moves is about managing your money, managing your assets. You watch the Steve McBride, Millionaire Moves.